Hello all, it's Finn, and I said I would make a video um, kind of going over my menstruation history to give you an idea of why I chose to get the Luna Cup. Um, I had to actually take it out in order to show you because I'm back on my bullshit as far as my period goes. One thing, one issue that you might run into um, with the Luna Cup, or with really any cup, is um, when you extract it and wanting to... Um, see I still got some water in here but uh, wanting to see where on the cup your menstrual fluid comes up to they have little um, milliliter markings on it for 7.5 and 15 I think it goes up to 22 or 24 but uh when I was taking it out I literally like I pulled it out and then I flipped it over and dumped it all over the fucking place it was just like deep red just blood just fucking everywhere. I know you wanted to hear that. I absolutely know you wanted to hear that. So that's why I let you know. It's um, a little bit gross if uh, you're a clumsy motherfucker, which I am. So yeah, my menstruation history. Well, I started my periods when I was nine, which is rather early for people with uteruses. It's pretty early. I think the average age is about 12. My periods were very bad. Very, 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 very fucking bad. Um, as I said in the last video, I am fairly certain that I have, either have it now or had menorrhagia, which is excessive bleeding. Um, this is like a, a lot of bleeding. Um, where periods last for, you know, more than seven days, like 10 days, 11 days. Um, you're bleeding through pads overnight. You're bleeding through pads during the day. Um, I would have to do both a pad and a tampon. Uh, just to make sure that I wasn't getting any um, leakage into my clothes. Uh, and I would wear overnight pads regardless of the time of day. I just, I always went super plus for everything. Everything was just super thick and super absorbent because I knew I was going to bleed all over the fucking place. Uh, so yeah, my periods were never good. I was, I was in a fair amount of pain uh, for at least the first first seven days of the period um, and then as you got towards the end it would not be as bad but it was still pretty bad I would have a lot of blood clots that would come out I'll just lose a lot of blood I was and am still I'm still anemic um, part of the problem with my anemia is that I'm losing a whole lot of blood with my periods but also I have weird blood cells that just they don't carry oxygen that well so it's like the double whammy where I'm actually just physically like anemic and then also biologically anemic so yeah going into puberty um, my periods were really bad I would throw up I would get migraines all that lovely stuff uh, as I got older my mom would you know she would try to help me out she would try to get like um, what is that stuff the stuff that begins with an M uh, my doll that was never helpful nothing no pills were ever helpful, like, regardless of what they were for, for pain, for expressly cramps, they were never helpful. And I would just be bedridden for a week at a time whenever I had my periods. As I lost weight when I got older, uh, my periods weren't as bad, but they were still 10 days. I was still bleeding heavily. Uh, and then when I turned 17, my mom decided to um, put me on birth control. And it was more to help my periods really than it was as birth control, but uh, she didn't really, it didn't really register to her as a thing that she could do for me when I was younger. Um, and you know, I didn't really have access to the information to know, so how was I ever going to know that that could help my periods? I was taking a progesterone and estrogen pill, like combination, and that was not good because estrogen uh, messes with auras um, and migraines. Like if you have migraines with aura, you cannot take estrogen pills. You you should not, at least. They make your migraines worse. Definitely worse. Um, after that, they put me on a progesterone-only pill, which is uh, the other hormone that's associated with um, periods, along with um, what luteinizing hormone. Uh, what was the other one? Something stimulating hormone for your ovaries. Uh, but anyway, 
So I was on this progesterone only pill. It was causing me issues with hair loss and hair growth on my back. And that wasn't super, like the hair growth wasn't an issue for me, but the hair loss was and um, the weight gain was. So I stopped taking the progesterone only pill. Uh, then my mom looked into getting an IUD for me because she had done the procedure to get an IUD. An IUD is an interuterine device. It's just this like T-shaped little piece of metal or plastic that they put up in you and um, prevents you from getting pregnant and it also helps with your periods. So when I was taking that progesterone only pill I had literally no periods whatsoever. It was great. Uh, when I started taking or when I got the um, IUD put in my periods went from like none at all to seven days like pretty much just an average period but I still bled the same amount that I, I I was bleeding before, I still bleed a lot. So to give you an example of how much blood I'm losing on average, um, with this Luna Cup it actually tells you, well you get, a fair, you get a fair idea of how much you're bleeding. Um, I would say about 7 milliliters um, per 12 hour period. So um, you need to take it out every 12 hours. Um, and so twice a day. And um, what is it, 2 times 7 is 14. And my periods are about I would say seven days. Um, so that's 98? 98 milliliters, which is, it, that's a really, 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 really rough estimate. Um, because it could be, you know, significantly less. Um, just because during the last day or so, and probably, no, not the first day. The first day is full-blown blood. Um, during the last day, though, I have some spotting. So, um... Maybe bring that down from 98 to 80, maybe 75 at the least, the very, very least. I would say about 80 is um, how much blood I'm losing per period. So if you could imagine, before I got my IUD put in, I was having 10 day periods. And so, you know, that 98 is significantly higher because um, it's what, uh, 10 days instead of... 7 and 14, 140, it's not going to be that much, it's not nearly that much, but uh, it's definitely more, you know, than than 80 that I was bleeding before um, I got the IUD put in. So having the IUD is actually really, really, really helpful and um, just allowing me to live my life when I'm having a period, um, allowing me to just go to work or go to school. Like, I can actually do things, and I can concentrate, and I'm not in excruciating pain all the time. My periods have been really, really bad, but now that I have an IUD, they're a lot better. Um, but they're still not good. I still am losing a good amount of blood. Um, but having this Luna Cup has kind of illuminated things for me. Uh, I, I actually know how much blood I'm losing on average. And that's actually really cool to know. And I'll just give you like a quick lowdown on this cup because I did talk about it in the other video. But if you wanted to know a little bit more about the Luna Cup, um, you can go ahead and look it up. Um, this one is a large. It is uh, for people with uteruses that have higher cervixes. So um, you actually have to measure how high your cervix is. You just stick a finger up there. If it comes down to this digit, then you have a really high cervix. If you have right here, then it's a medium. And right here is really, really low. Um, you can feel your cervix. It's harder than the other like surrounding tissue um, in your vagina. So it's really, really easy to, to find it. Also, again, remember to change it every 12 hours. And they last a pretty good amount of time, like two to three years. Um, when you take it out and rinse it out, um, wash it off like, with some soap and water and um, use some peroxide on it from time to time so it won't stain. I've seen some pictures of some that were really super stained. I don't know how they got so utterly stained because when you clean it, it like everything comes off. So unless you're leaving a lot of residue that you can't see, it, it, nothing should stick to this. Like it's, it's pretty... It's pretty non-stick, I would say. It's pretty smooth on the inside. So yeah, just just be hygienic. Clean your cup. But yeah, I think that's it as far as the Luna Cup goes and as far as my period history goes. 
Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to leave some comments. I'm happy to answer whatever you have questions about. Yeah, I'm an open book. Uh, so far, I'm really enjoying the Luna Cup. It's, it's pretty great. It's cool not to have to worry, in, you know, another four hours after you would have a tampon in. That's cool. And then you can go swimming with this. Um, it's just like a tampon. Uh, but I, I would consider it a lot better because it makes a better seal. Um, you don't have to worry about it like, falling out. Um, yeah, it's good stuff. So hopefully this was a little bit informative. You understand really what got like my thought process into why I got the Luna Cup. And I hope you figure out whatever you're trying to figure out. I'm tired, guys. I'm so fucking tired. Pieces.